two mil tanks and a Firo. Hmm. Magikarp. All right, let's keep heading up this way. What level is this Vulpix? Ten. Wow, Plains Biomes have the lowest level Pokemon ever. <laughs> wow, Rapidash, here we go. A level 41. That's pretty good. That'll be good experience if Wartortle can take this down. I don't know if it can, though. Wow, that did nothing. <laughs> All right, let's switch into Aqua. And Water Pulse it. And one more Water Pulse will finish it off. And that should level up Wartortle, no problem. Yeah, level 30, 31. Cool. Five levels away. We are halfway there already. And there is a Fire Breather Trainer, otherwise known as Ike, because that is what they are named basically every time. Hmm. Yeah, let's see what level this guy is. 33. And these guys usually have water type po or fire type Pokemon, so this should be good for War Turtle. Water Pulse. Wow, that did nothing. Alright, War Turtle, you are starting to disappoint me. You need to evolve. Alright. Aqua, Aqua, you use Water Pulse now. Aqua Tail. The user attacks by swinging its tail as if it were a vicious wave in a raging storm. Alright, well, you couldn't really make that sound any more epic. Let's get rid of Withdraw. Because... What is dying? It better not be any of my Pokemon. Alright. Well, War Turtle's level 32. I really don't want him to faint. Wow. <laughs> okay. I think I have a potion with me. I hope. I really don't want War Turtle to faint out here. That would be a problem because I would have to walk all the way back to my home to heal him, and that is really far away. Unless I can find some Flaffies that I can kill for wool. I also don't want to sleep out here, though, because this is so far away from my home. Alright, what items do I have? Awakening and Max Potion. That is what I need. Let's send out War Turtle. Let's get that Max Potion out. And don't want to accidentally click on Aqua. Let's heal you up. Alright, full health. Awesome. And he is level 32 now, so we are making good progress, and he just learned Aqua Tail. And War Turtles and Blastoises are generally better at physical attack than they are special attack, so I think that will work perfectly. Probably going to use that instead of Water Pulse, although Water Pulse does confuse enemies pretty easily, so that is one benefit. See, am I crazy? These Mareeps have a yellow tail. I need to find another Flaffy and see if it has a blue tail or a yellow tail. This is starting to confuse me. There is my desert, though. Awesome. Yeah, I was looking for that. This is starting to bother me, though. I need to find a Flaffy. Just one Flaffy. They were all over earlier, but of course now that I really want to find one... I'm probably not going to be able to find one. There's a Persian. I'll let that go. There is a Flaffy. Looks like it has a blue tail. Yes, it does. Alright, so... Unless I just found the most statistically impossible thing ever and found two shiny Flaffies in a row. I think I just caught a completely normal one, so... <laughs> disregard all of that. But yeah, I think Mareeps and Ampharos both have yellow tails, so that is kind of strange. Okay, but more important things to get to. Let's go into the desert and find some Pokemon that I can hit super effectively. What is up with Rattata's eyes? <laughs> They're just black dots. Those buck teeth. All right. <laughs> Well, let's disregard that for now. That's not too important. Now, hopefully out here we can find some Magmars or Sand Slashes. It's just something that I can hit with Water Pulse or Aqua Tail for massive damage. Hmm. There's a Lava Pool. Yeah, here are plenty of Pokemon that I can attack. Okay, so Water Pulse. 
Awesome. And War Turtle is level 33 now. And let's get this Sand Slash. And Water Pulse. All of these ground type Pokemon have like the worst special defense ever, so that's kind of nice. Let's go into Aqua. I really want this thing to evolve before it gets knocked out, but it's not doing too well in that regard. So I need to be careful. It's taking a lot of damage from these Pokemon. I'll skip that Sandshrew. Uh, Trap Inch evolves into Vibrava, which is a pretty cool Pokemon. And Sandile evolves into Crocorock, which is also a pretty cool Pokemon. But I don't think I'm going to catch either of them. Here's another Sand Slash. And I'm just going to switch right away and not take any risks. Because, yeah, Crush Claw would have probably done a lot. Probably would have knocked out my War Total, which is level 34, and Aqua's level 49. Wow, big levels. <laughs> That's what we want. Let's head deeper into the desert. I don't think this is a very big desert, but... Yeah, there should be plenty of stuff here. There is a Graveler, very similar size to our Pebble. I want to see which one is smaller. Oh, Pebble's much smaller. <laughs> Look at the size of that Graveler. That's so cool. That's so small. Let's send out Aqu... No. War Turtle. And one Water Pulse should take this out. Hopefully it doesn't hit me with anything. No. One Water Pulse. That did it. Alright. Good job, War Turtle. You are becoming more formidable by the moment. Sandshrew. Come on. Where are all the Pokemon at? I just need a couple more. This is a very good place to train my War Total. I'm glad I thought of this. There's another Graveler. These are easy experience. I'm faster and my hits are all one-hit KOs. Level 35. All right, one away. This War Total will be a Blastoise very soon. Let's eat some baked potatoes so we don't die. And, yeah, these are a very good source of food. I'm glad I found these over in that village, because I've been eating these all the time, and they are very, very cost-effective. Like, you get, like, three of those every time you break one of the plants in your farm. That is a bargain. Then all you have to do is cook them up. And you have a great food su supply. But I don't think anyone cares about my Minecraft food supply right now. We need a Blastoise. There is a Crocorock. Level 31. I want War Turtle to be the Pokemon that takes out the one it evolves on, though. If I fight a Crocorock, I'm probably going to have to switch out. Alright, pretty good experience. There's another Graveler up there. These Gravelers are awesome. These are so easy to defeat, and they are all great amounts of experience because they're evolved and high level. Okay, so let's get you now, level 32. Water Pulse. And that did it. There we go. Blastoise, level 36. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Check that out. And I believe you can ride these things. Yes, you can. <laughs> awesome. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> we are riding a Blastoise through a desert now. That's pretty awesome. And let's try him out against this. These are Flygons, I believe. He's not the fastest, but he is a turtle, so you can't blame him. Alright. I hope this thing isn't a shiny. I know that Flygons, I think the shiny ones are blue. I kind of want to... Yeah, here's a another red one. Alright. Wow, it attacked me itself. Okay, Aqua, you take this out with an Aurora Beam. Yeah, that did a lot of damage. Nice. For a lot of experience. Yeah, I don't want my... new Blastoise fighting these things. <laughs> they will kill it, and I don't like that. Alright, let's find like one more Pokemon to try out Blastoise on. Here we go. 
Graveler. You were in trouble. Let's try out an Aqua Tail. Yeah, that took it right out. Good job, Blastoise. Anything else around here? We've pretty much killed everything in the desert. Here's a Sand Slash. <laughs> Blastoise jumped right in front of me. Now we are stuck on the sand block. Alright, Sand Slash. Let's get you. Water Pulse. Look how much more damage that does now. Wow, you're a beast. Aqua Tail. Alright. So that's gonna... That is how we're gonna end this episode. So check out my awesome Evolved Level 36 Blastoise. And I noticed that he didn't have a name. I wanted to wait until after we evolved him to name him. So... Yeah, come up with an awesome name for our Blastoise here in the comments below, and in the next episode, I will change his name to whatever the best suggestion is. Alright, so that is one goal down. But, the main goal, the whole series has been building up to this. Worthless. He needs to evolve into a Camerupt. He is a giant size, so he will be a pretty big Camerupt. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. So next on the agenda, we will evolve Worthless, the worst Pokemon we have ever had in this series. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time on Aqua Place Pixelmon. And that is a really small Flygon. Or no, these are Vibravas. Cool. Good Pokemon. Alright, though. Here's Worthless, here's Blastoise. Name Blastoise, and we will be evolving Worthless. I will see you next time.